Oh, are we on? Wow. That was an abrupt uh, transition. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> it startled me. That's all right. That's all right. Well, just shout out to uh, James, our audio video guy. He oh. had a baby this morning. Baby. Uh, well, his wife had a baby, but you know what oh. I mean. Is it a girl or a boy? A girl. It's a grill. All right. That's awesome. That's Congratulations, crazy. James. James, we're we are uh, we are somehow dealing with you not being here. Uh, so a little bit of glitches but here. We and there. are not. It's uh, all right. Well, no, we're, actually, Christine, you rock. You're it's doing working. Well. It's she, working. And April's always rock. So we're we're good. We're here. We're 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 doing it. Thank we you are. for joining us. By the way, uh, and today, great show. Yeah, great, great show. Yeah, I'm oh. I'm very excited. Last week, holy cow, we had a lot going on. We did. And we I did. we even had tables. I know. <laughs> and I I promise I wouldn't do this. Uh, we had lots of tables. What? what? Oh come on! Not already. <laughs> <laughs> Take those sound effects away from so this guy. We got, we got sound effects. We're good to go. Oh, my word. All right. So thank you for being here. By the way, if you get stuck or whatever, push the button, uh, the reconnect button at the top of your screen. It doesn't take you away. It just refreshes your screen, refreshes your connection. So do that. Check out our resources, YouTube, all of our, on our line. We got calculators. 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 Of calculators. Time. And calcul I have been working through thousands, CBD jam thousands sessions. Thousands of hits. Thousands of hits. Oh, my gosh. Calculator. The calculators are on fire yeah. and we're building, there's guys using them to help build their, their business plans. They're doing mm -hmm. evaluations on what to do uh, with their ethanol processes, right. how to you know either convert or to minimize their costs, right. everything. I mean, it's amazing. Right. So good resources. Lots of resources there. What's wonderful about the calculators is that you're able to, you know, kind of self-serve but we're there to help you. So when you have a question about, you know, maybe an assumption within the calculator or something along those lines, feel free to give us a call. Um, you know, reach out, reach out on the receiver. We'll make you a believer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can I write that down? No, no. <laughs> um, also online, just so you know, we, we have this new chat bot and we have to name him. Uh, well, well, we, we've been going through some iterations on that, but okay. Okay. But I tell you what, that's there. And then we can engage with you directly. So if you've got questions, you're on the calculator, just go ahead and, you know, ask the bot questions. And then we've got a staff, a team who will answer those questions for you. So, so we're, we're trying to make it uh, more and more and more intelligent. So at some point in time in the future, it will become more intelligent than us. Well, that's not hard for me. Well, and then it'll fire us. <laughs> we yeah. hope that would be great think about that the robots doing all our work for us do we call it okay because of the way the industry going, are we calling it canonet uh canabot <laughs> canabot uh, oh. uh, i still think it should be know. gnome no gnome bot we got the gnome here and we i think it should be gnome notice he's look where he's pointing oh yeah. at the gnome you're set up straight so you can He's got it. He's got it. He's pointed at me today. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. We came here one time, and the whole the whole scene was in our disarray. Apparently, he, they had done destruction overnight. Really? Oh well, you know. Well, the gnomes, gnomes are known to do that. They do that. Yeah, they do do that. Hey, congratulations, Rob Mart Court from Elite Extraction in Utah. All uh, right, congratulations. Sweet. You won something. What? Yeah, so oh, no, weren't we giving away a dra drain dried honey? That's what I thought it was. Yeah, I'm think I'm sure that's what it is. A drain dried hoodie? Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Drain dried hoodie. Yeah. And and a swag bag. Yeah. And um Elijah is in Utah. So I think he might even hand deliver that, Rob. Congratulations. Thank you for being here. That's yeah. good. Um, there's a whole there the, the paragraph is much smaller from Jared. Jared, thanks. Reach out to shout out to Jared for at least cutting that paragraph in half. Um uh, on that. <laughs> lots of resources, lots of cool things. Today, distillation. Explained. Distillation. Explained. Hey, we could do that really fast. Distillation. Explained. Distillation. Like <laughs> so uh wiped film evaporation in here. hemp processing mm -hmm. that's more, that sounds more boring uh yeah and, and notice okay when i put it up there on the screen it's gonna be black and white really yeah minimalist full black and white minimalist view that's how i that's how i did it so minimalist. It, it would be techni black and white a techni black and white yeah <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it up there. We're gonna do. We're gonna get going on this. We're going uh, today. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, some distillation stuff. 
Oh, and introduce yourself on the chat too, please. Oh, yes, please. Introduce, setting up your, um, tell us who you are and what, where you are in the process. Are you a processor? Are you a grower? Are you a, you know, what are you? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Right. Because we want, and then throw those questions at us. We got lots of questions already rolling in. So, Sweet. all right. Distillation explained. Distillation explained. Let me see if I can get this going here. All right. Um, how do I, how do I go from one to the next here? One moment here. So how do I how do I scroll here? You might have to do it. Over we don't here. have James here. James is James got everything ready, and apparently this is not. Let me see here. If I do this, not scrolling, guys. We can't we can't get to the next screen. Technic techno difficulty. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I don't I don't care here. Let me see. You mean you gotta I gotta move this all the way over? This happened on my very, very first uh, webinar I ever did. I couldn't find the mouse. It was just like, how do I? Oh, there it is. Oh, I see it. Oh, we did it. Yes. <laughs> Good job. All right. <laughs> nice. All right. Technical difficulty. All right. Okay. Yeah. Overcome. Okay. So that, that it, was, it was like, where's the mouse? I couldn't find it because I had like three screens and it, it, and it kept on getting lost. And I couldn't see it. It was, it was terrible. Anyway. Well, see, now you do know that James messes with you because he has a mouse over there and he just moves the mouse yeah. on you. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, it's Thanks, annoying. James. I it's appreciate annoying. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So distillation explained. Wiped film evaporation and hand processing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to talk about uh we're going to talk specifically about taking winterized oils to distillate. Okay. Last week we talked about uh you know taking solvents out of uh oils, yeah. right? And yep. that that we talked all about falling film evaporation we talked about uh what did we talk about we talked about rotovaps, rotovaps and how you could use a rotovap or you could use a falling film and we decided that the rotovap wasn't so great because uh basically the issue no not not snoring this one <laughs> well that's a rotovap oh oh that's the reason oh, yeah, right there yeah yeah rotovap okay. was breakage of glass okay and then they gave us these uh they gave us these sound effects. And so Randy spent half the time, you know, just, just waiting for the right, right time to uh, use the sound effects. Okay. So that was Fractron. Yeah, that was the Fractron. It was really fast. Okay. So we, we talked a little bit about solvents and uh, how you would take the ethanol out of the solvent. And we, we, we went through a whole comparison. Okay. Yes. Yep. Um, it was very good. Yeah. And this time, I think we're going to do something similar. I'm going to try to avoid tables. Because I, he's gonna. He said that he would basically. Yeah, I know. I know. It, it's not that bad. The table tables are a great way to understand the process. Tables okay? are a great way to. But okay, have whatever. Dinner. So what is a what is a white <laughs> film evaporator? Okay, a white film evaporator is is simply uh, a uh, way to make distillate. Okay, so let me tell you how it works. So you get you take your winterized oil and you put it into here. Mm -hmm. And that's all heated and everything. So it's going to keep it nice and liquid. There's a pump right here. The pump pumps it out of this reservoir here through this, this conduit here and into this what's called a wiped film evaporator. Mm. In the middle of this wiped film evaporator is a cold finger. It, it, it protrudes up through the wiped film evaporator. And you can see what will happen is that as the stuff comes in, this wiper wipes it on the outer side of the wall it starts to evaporate and it condenses on that cold finger oh. and it separates it out that way. So it's really cool. Oh, really that, rad. That is rad. What's, what's also awesome about it is that it has this, these are just vacuum conditioning systems here. They're called condensers. And then you have two different types of vacuums. So it's kind of a high end system. You have, first of all, a roughing pump, and then you also have a, um, you know, a turbo pump or a, a different kind of pump. Anyway, so those are the two types of pumps you would normally have. Now, in this particular system that I have here, it is a two-stage system. So the stuff comes in here, and then it goes through this first stage, and then uh, the stuff that sticks on the walls here goes into the second stage. So this would be considered a second-pass distillate that would come out of here. Uh, why do people need to do it more than once? Uh, because they don't get the right, they don't, in the first pass, sometimes they're taking out like very, very small amounts of solvents or something like that. And so usually they use that first plant pass to, you know, 
take out a little bit of uh, the terpenes, mm -hmm. take out a little bit of the undesirables, make it a lighter color, and then run it one more time to get that nice, clear, golden color. So, oh, okay. so usually they run it twice. Uh, so in the this. opening shot, when they do the twirl, the honeycomb yeah, twirl that, kind of thing? that second pass distillate for That's sure. beautiful. Yeah. And also that, that particular distillate was warm. So, so that you could twirl it. Anybody who has like CBD distillate or THC distillate, they know that when it when it's um, when it's actually at room temperature, I mean it's as solid as a as as oil. <laughs> I mean it's solid. You can't pour it. I mean you you you'll put the the bottle upside down and it won't pour. Wow. Okay, so you have to heat it up. So, and you know if you want to do like a, a the cool shots like that, you're gonna have to heat it up. And uh, put some light behind it because as soon as you see the light behind it, it turns clear. You can see right through it. It makes it nice that and golden. So golden. Yeah. There's. There's. We should do a whole show on how to make cool distillate. Uh, you know, shots like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it, you I know, because it. a lot of people have a lot of people are doing that, but you know, they they need to they need to know how to make it. So if you yeah. want to, I think that would be good. Yeah, I think I mean, that would be really good. Uh, Let's top, do it. Top hey, five. do you guys want that? Is that helpful for you to figure out how to take good? photos of distillate that would be a good backup for this yeah all right so good. all right go on so, so nobody's answering i know that's, i guess nobody cares <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> nobody cares that's right they get to, they take out their iphone and they just, that's because on our first pass yeah. we're talking all the chemists <laughs> we do have a, a disproportionate amount of chemists don't we we well, do okay there's chemists there's processors investors okay yep. typically typically we have about 20 percent investors on our show yeah um and then we have uh you know there's 20 percent chemists yeah the rest are processors um oh, of various oh, we kinds. do get farmers oh we do yeah, we do yeah, get yeah, growers farmers. and yeah, farmers right. absolutely right. can you have more than 100 percent? yes of course. yeah of course yeah, of course. yeah. <laughs> All right. I've seen All some right. of those test results come in. <laughs> yeah. 102 percent. What? Yeah. How is that possible? Okay. All right. So this is Variation. that's the general overview. Okay. Look okay. at that. Look at that beautiful display. Beautiful. There. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. Nice. Okay. So what's the process? You you get some quality hemp to process. Okay. First tip: advanced secret of the universe. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Get out your pens and papers. I'm ready. Okay. Uh, do not. Do not add a lot of seed, or do not uh, try to go to distill it uh, with when you have a lot of seed in your hemp, mm. because there's a lot of oil in that seed, and that ends up going into your distillate. Okay, uh -huh. and that can, that can produce some you know off colors and off tastes and things like that. So um, the reason uh, hemp growers have seed in their um, hemp is just simply because uh, sometimes it, it's mixed male and female plants and you get seeds in there and that, that so that's that's the issue so you want to try when you're growing you want to have feminized seed so you're not no having male to, plants. no male plants pull them pull them and then you want to try to make sure you don't have a lot of seed we have um, you know we've done a lot of extractions of like you know highly seeded um, you know hemp and it's not good it isn't good no it's really hard to get good distillate out yep. of that it's hard to get good uh isolate out of that so that, that's just something for you there and it's it wreaks havoc on the grinding yeah portion. oh yeah oh my yeah. gosh yeah so anyway and yeah. the seeds aren't really good for anything except for unless you're doing you know like unless your business is grain they, yep. some of some people have grain business sure. have you ever had a uh, hemp seed shelled hemp seeds yeah, I put, they're they're actually quite good. Yeah, I have I, I have actually some pouches. I should bring them in. Oh, they're so good. I they, put them in my smoothie. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really great. They so are. You grind the hemp then, and you optionally decarboxylate, which um, we decarboxylate because that's the best point in the process to get the terpenes out. I yes. mean, that's that's the place to do it. Um, if, if you're going to do it after extraction and after dewaxing, you can see you're going through two or three steps. And then you're decarboxylating. You're not really going to be able to retrieve those those question. Uh, okay, so here's a, here's a technical question coming yeah. up, and I appreciate that. I saw that for decarb. Yeah. Um, when you're decarboxylating, yeah, um, aren't you actually for marijuana? Aren't you activating the THC through, during that decarboxylation process? And aren't you activating the CBD? Yeah, you are. Okay. So you're you're basically you're taking it from uh, an acid to a neutral compound or a, a charged molecule to a neutral compound, 
and that allows it to be absorbed by the into the bloodstream. Uh, yeah. So, oh. for example, if you had a brownie and you had CBD acid and you put the CBD acid into the brownie or the CBD or the THC acid, you you really wouldn't um, get uh, with a THC side. You wouldn't get a psychoactive effect hardly at all. There may be some decarboxylation that takes place in your body, but very, very, very extremely low. Wow. And so, yeah, it just is basically is is not absorbed very well and it's not metabolized very well. So you're essentially um, doing nothing with it. That's so yeah. Hey, Rachel, thank you for that question because that, I think that's huge because even yeah. though it's optional, if you are ingesting, yeah. you want to be carb. Yeah, so if you are doing edibles, of any kind, mm -hmm. um, if you are doing, um, um, you know, any kind of, any kind of, um, you know, vaporizer, those are typically you want to have, yep. you want to have those pre decarboxylated. Okay. Um, you know, when people smoke, uh, flour in the form of a pre-roll, obviously it gets decarboxylated because yes. it's burning. Yes. Right. So yep. that, that's the whole point gotcha. in, in that. Okay. If they just chewed it, I don't think that they'd have the same effect. Unless, Unless you chewed it, really fast. Or or you took it sublingually, <laughs> sublingually uh, under your tongue. Really? Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. I, I wonder if it would absorb. I can decarboxylate under my that. tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that no, it, wouldn't, whole other it wouldn't decarboxylate. It would just maybe be absorbed <laughs> oh, a little bit. But okay. Yeah. okay. Now, a lot of people are interested recently in, uh, you know, acid cannabinoids. Yes. Um, and the question that I have is, okay, they may be therapeutic, but, you know, getting them into your body uh, so your body can use them in an acid form is very difficult because it, all of your membranes within your mouth and saliva and in your gut and, and everything is just made to not to neutralize to neutralize it or no, no, not to neutralize it, but to not absorb it. Oh, it just uh, so yeah, there's so no the bioavailability is not so great. And that's key. Got yeah. it. OK, yeah. so, the, you know, you'd have to have a very, very high dosage of the acid cannabinoid to make any difference so i know there's a lot of research being done on that right now so um you know cool. who knows maybe someone will figure out how to maybe they'll inject it or something I mean, if you have any <laughs> comments about that please put it in the chat yeah that's, that's awesome okay then you extract the de-wax and then you remove your solvent uh and optionally decarboxylate again here's another place that you can de decarboxylate again but the terpenes are no good when you decarboxylate them here and then this is where you get to finally the white film distillation so there's your steps that i like you need that to take yeah when you say de-wax i'm thinking of you know de-waxing my children's ears uh yeah no no that's not the the de-wax we're talking about <laughs> so the de-waxing in this case is is basically taking out the waxes that uh that that are extracted in the process. Now, there's a uh, subcritical and supercritical CO2 that you can use. Those are different pressures. So you can actually uh, tune and control how much wax you, you, you actually extract. You know, so okay. that's something you need to think about. And also with like cryoethanol, that would yeah. be another, you know, with cryoethanol, you, you're you not really getting a lot of the waxes because it's too cold. It's it, not dissolving them. Exactly. You know what I mean? So, but um, if in, and that's a, it's a good ethanol process because yeah. you're, they consider that what medicinal right. uh, grade ex ethanol extraction. Right, 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 exactly. Because of the cryo. And I've seen some really cool uh, ways that they've done that, but you do lose a lot of yield. You lose yield and it takes a long time to get through, right? Yeah. And then you will have the same issues with, you lose, you're losing cannabinoids, number one. Yeah. It takes a long time, number two. And then number three, um, you still have the same problems with solvent reproofing. You still have the same problems with solvent reuse yeah. and then also recovery of the solvent from the biomass, yeah. which is a big deal, you know. Yeah. I, I saw some things on the internet a couple of days ago that was like, okay, 99.9% .9 recovery of ethanol. Well, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Actually, I, I, it's, it's it's not possible. Okay. I mean, you know, any any kind of process is going to have a solvent loss. Okay. Mm. Um, you know, like with CO two, we have a solvent loss, right? It just turns out that the CO two is so inexpensive that it doesn't matter. Okay. So you know, there, there's always going to be solvent loss. So so yeah, that would be. Yeah, you, that is solvent. You, that's you a, broke that myth. You broke it. Yeah, I broke you it. Broke yeah, that busted. <laughs> Should have a we should have a busted. Sign. I think we need one. Okay, here we go. We so, got four more buttons for sound effects. Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna get <laughs> this is gonna get out of control. Oh, look at this chart. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, this is not bad. This is no. this is just block diagrams. This is your kind of chart. <laughs> no, yeah, this is. <laughs> sorry, I just wanted to use the sound effect.
Mm, this is actually very good. Yeah. Okay. We've seen this before. Uh, people have, uh, you know, attended our broadcasts before. Um, what, where are white film evaporators used in hemp extraction? Now, that second one, do we put that in gin? Uh, which one? Which the, gin one? The quarantine. The corn. This one? <laughs> the quinine. No, not the quinine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Quarant, quine. I don't even know how you got quinine out of that. <laughs> But typically, you you would it's behind my in mic. receiving you would uh, and you I was would basically of gin. yeah oh, I, sorry all right I, go I, on I like gin. this is important stuff yeah stop I'm trying to around <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right okay so where we, should we should we proceed yes please <laughs> okay yes please we're waiting oh no okay here we go let's let's just let that roll for just a little bit because this is good I'm gonna take a little this bit. is good mm -hmm. because I like. Yeah. Okay, this is our distillation music now. <laughs> okay, so I think so. Yeah, but it's getting to the real distill. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, <laughs> my neck hurts. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I give me some of that CBD uh, neck rub uh, stuff. Oh, okay. I've been taking that. It's it's been working. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was the only pain in your neck. Oh. <laughs> no, I have a real pain in my neck. Oh, for some reason, a real one. Yeah. Okay. Now, I cannot be cured by CBD. Apparently. All right. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, receiving, quarantine, drying, drying, grinding, decarboxylation, extraction, dewaxing, distillation. That's the process that you need to do. Go through to get to the distillation side. You can see it's smack dab right in the middle of the entire process. It is the heart. It is the heart. Of yeah. The, everything. Okay. Yeah. And you see how I made the circle a little bit bigger so it looked like a target. I did. I do like that. Yeah. I, I did. I, I do. So anyway, uh, that's what. That's really where we're at. So you can see that the distillate that you get out, you you can use that for your isolate. You mm -hmm. know, to feed your isolate process. It's also being used to feed your broad spectrum chromatography system, which is the broad spectrum distillate. Got it. You can't go from extract to your broad spectrum here without going through these processes because all that stuff is going to end up. You know, not it's too too waxy. It's you know, it's not good. So you're gonna you're gonna have to go through. This is a refinement process. Got it. As you move from here all the way to here, you're always losing, 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 losing cannabinoids. Yes. So that's why the process has to be managed. And if you put it all into one process, that's also um, you know it's 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 more risk because you're really not able to to really hold the processes. Uh, and, and monitor them separately. What if you just started right here and then ended up right here and you're like, okay, I got, I got, I should be getting at least 30% more than what I'm getting. Where do you start? Yeah. Everywhere. It's, it's, it's <laughs> not good if it's all in one process. So yeah. you have to really break the processes up, yep. measure them separately. So that's where they're used. All right. This is brilliant, but I do feel like you're yelling at me because everything's in capital letters. <laughs> oh, you know, you know, Nathan said the same thing. Why are you writing everything in capital letters? Yeah. Well, because I, I told him I was doing details on drawings and stuff like that. And yeah. yeah. Well, in Asia, that's what if you're if everything's in cap, they you're yelling. It's, oh, really? That's, yeah. That's great. Just uh, so you know. So I'll, I'll have to know that. So. <laughs> I mean, well, what oh, does that mean? That if you capitalize the first letter of a sentence, that the first letter's yelling, but the rest of the sentence isn't. What kind of? It's, well, what about what about words? It's emphasized. what about words, Randall? Huh? It's emphasized. <laughs> Oops, em emphasized emphasized okay the emphasis like, on emphasized. the wrong syllable <laughs> oh i have no audio i'm not recording oh well okay here i'll do this then all right there we are set okay so we have to start uh, we over. had it we had it oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh that's okay i it's all right all right we're good okay mm. So here we go. Uh, distillation is in the center there. Um, so how to distill CBD. Okay. So this is how, what's actually happening inside of the white film distillation call. Mm. Okay. So here the, the CBD comes in and, uh, it, and it comes in, this is a check valve here because okay. this is a high vacuum system and this is actually under atmospheric pressure. So you need to have a check valve in there. I'm not going to go into the de details of that, Thank but you, you can see how it's coming down. It's rolling down over the wall and immediately it encounters these little wiper blades. Wow. And the little wiper blades wipe the incoming winterized oil very carefully over the surface to make it into a nice 
thin film all the way around that all cone. the way around it and it keeps wiping it around and around and around and around. okay round and round it keeps it thin yeah it keeps so it, it nice says and thin. it's falling and it's also pushing it down so it's because of the vacuum down. yes yes and well okay. no 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 get over under gravity and then also the actual um the actual blades themselves are kind of pushing it down because oh, they're, they're angled down gotcha. okay okay so as this thing rotates down it's getting a nice thin film now we need we know a little bit about about the need for a nice thin film mm -hmm. because the thinner it is the the more likely it is to to be very good at it at basically evaporating okay so there your cannabinoids are coming out you can see they're coming out see them oh look at they're floating yeah, there i see them they're desorbing from the i feel like i'm the floating they're like oh i no longer belong to the liquid clan <laughs> i'm going to i can fly away. I'm, I'm going to fly and there they go see they're flying yeah now why why do they fly Go toward the light this way why do they fly because <laughs> that's this where the way? light is yes this is the condenser that's where the light yes, is and they're like i have to go there i have to touch it <laughs> and so they're going they're floating that way under um what they call uh, uh, uh basically under a chemical potential chemical potential yes 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 i've told i had i know you're, potential. you're you're eyeing the snoring I, okay no don't, no, don't, no no actually i'm not not yet okay. no this is, okay so here they are they're, is, all right all right they're floating in air and then they get on the condenser but what they find out they get a little bit upset because um uh, they get to the they condenser yes they haven't reached the promised land it, it it basically there's like oh well now you have to become a liquid again and they're like no i wanted to stay a gas please don't make me become a liquid and and they get captured and then they they just become a part of the liquid condensate herd and that goes that and it herd, goes down that herd flies down flies okay. down and that's the distillate that you collect on the condenser yeah so and the rest of the stuff that sticks with its own clan here mm -hmm. um it doesn't it that's what's called the residue okay so it doesn't and you know you can the hotter this is the the different molecules will come based on the boiling point so the the boy so if, if this isn't hot enough where it's above the boiling point at the vacuum level in here then you're not going to get any um desorption and you're not going to get any migration you're not going to get any con condensate and the condenser so, there mm -hmm. is what you referred to earlier as the cold finger yeah that's correct that yeah. is the cold finger yeah, right got it so that's the cold finger and um what's wonderful about that is it, that, that can be held at a different temperature obviously as the the wall right so because you want things to condense on there so preheated cbd and terpenes oil enter the still okay the wiper blade scrapes the oil onto the evaporator to make a thin film keeping it the, thin yeah the terpenes boil off but do not condense on the condenser sometimes the terpenes will come they're not they're going to go into the vacuum and i'll tell you what happens to them they have a different fate oh no yeah okay um and then the cbd boils off and condenses on this condenser and those components of the oil that do not boil away stay on the wall and are pushed down by the wiper cool so they're separating uh basically the good from the bad heater and chiller yes that's correct heater and condensator all right this is good you know what the best thing is about our show what? oh besides you guys and the questions that you ask it, we have no commercials that's right i love this go i'm at the edge of my seat <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go so how let's talk about, okay this is the best how potent is Distillate produced by a white film evaporator. So how potent is it? I don't know. Okay, so you come you come in with say a 40, 50 yeah. percent potency, yeah. and you come out with like a 90%, 80, 80 to 90 percent potency. Oh my god. So typically 75 to 85 percent CBD can be produced in a white film. THC can re reach up to 90% plus potent, and I've seen easily, you know, 95, 96 consistently out of a, a white film evaporator. THC? THC. Wow. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, residual waxes, fats, terpenes, chlorophylls, plant materials that do not boil because they're higher boiling, they're separated out. And the terpenes that do not condense on the condenser will be caught in the cold trap and they get thrown away because they're really bad.
Oh. They don't smell good. They you don't, don't want taste to, good because these are post. Yeah, they're just not very good. Okay. They're post. They're they're like processed. Get rid yeah. of them. Terpenes from a white film distillation are not desirable flavors or aromas. Any potency over fifty percent will crystallize. So, uh, if it's CBD uh, and it's decarboxylated, so here's the deal: you're gonna you're gonna start off, and it's gonna come out. It's gonna be nice, crystal clear, and golden color. It's gonna look really good. And then you're going to set it there, and overnight it's going to crystallize out, and it'll be po- opaque basically in the morning. Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of cool. As it yeah. cools down, it starts to crystallize out. So that, that's it how it is. It is cool to watch it. that. We've got you know, jars of it in different stages of crystallization. We're totally going to do a, um, I, I wonder, we've, I don't think we've ever done a, a slow mo, like a time lapse of that. Oh, we need to do a yeah, time lapse. Yeah, we should do, we'll do a time lapse of yeah. that. Yeah. Right now. Oh, no, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> shiny penny. Okay, we're we're gone. See you later. <laughs> okay. So how does white I still film want dis- to make popcorn in the gym? We're gonna do it. Yeah. We're gonna do it. It's a giant we should do it. Oven. I wonder how we're gonna do that, it. Should that be that butter twirls. flavored? We should have butter. Oh, of course we gotta have butter in there. Well, yeah. Of course. And uh, hey, you know what? I have to say something. This is an advanced secret of the universe. I seriously another Listen. advanced secret. Boy, you guys are lucky. <laughs> this, is, this is okay. So you know how to make clarified butter? No. Okay, you put you put the butter on the stove. Yeah. Okay, you put the sticks of butter in the stove. Yeah. And all the milk fats and everything, as it starts to boil, you actually boil the butter. The milk fats rise to the top. You take all that milk fat off, okay? Yeah. And and it's very salt. It can it's salty and it's milk fat butter. Okay. And then the the clarified butter is underneath and it's clear and and you can use it for various things, it's particularly eggs Benedict. Really. But that. Milk fat butter. If you try that on popcorn, it is unbelievable. Really? Oh man, it, you have never tasted <laughs> better popcorn butter than that. Like that top. That's oh yeah. That's yeah. what you want. No, that's an advanced. The top leaders. stuff. I'm giving it to you free of charge. The non clear the 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 unclarified part. Yeah, the unclarified part. Okay. It, 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 it is. Okay. It, it it is to die for. Literally. Hey, which one of those? Watch is- out for you. It's like cholesterol on. You know, it's okay. like cholesterol on a plate. <laughs> Cardiac on a plate. So which part of that is ghee? When they talk about ghee. Oh, ghee. Ghee is yeah. Ghee is the the clarified part. That's the clarified. Yeah, butter. that's the that's, that's the, the underneath stuff. Yeah, that's the underneath where all stuff. the milk fat. Came exactly. Off. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> CBD and ghee. Cooking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, con- condensate recovered solid. What am I trying to say here? How does white film distillation work? Oh, okay. Well, this is just saying, okay, look, look at what we have here on this axis here is temperature, mm-hmm. um, in degrees Celsius. And in this axis here is different solvents. Okay. Here we have ethanol. You can see the temperature, uh, boiling temperature is right around 80. Uh, here you have THCA, here you have CBG. Where's, C- where's CBD? Oh, right here. Right See? there. Yeah, its boiling point is is higher. Does anybody know why the boiling point of CBD is higher than than THC? Oh, that's a great. If anybody can answer that question, like chemically, we'll totally give them a hoodie. Okay. Yeah, totally. So go ahead, put it in there. If anybody answers, we'll we'll. It's let not you know. me. I I I fail. Okay. So anyway, so what it's doing is basically. This is your recovered oil. So you you basically set a temperature. Mm-hmm. Here you're setting a temperature of your of your wall basically at 100. And you can see all of this stuff is going to boil off and this stuff is not. So this stuff would be your residue and this stuff would be your condensate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So that's all that is. Absolutely. Kind of a nice little illustration there. So quercetin. And- yeah, there's a whole I take quercetin little, little. every day. Oh, do you really? I do. Which where's that? It's the second to the last, next oh. to CBDA. Really? Yeah. So you you are actually taking a um that's a terpene. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> you know. No wonder I feel good every day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tons of biomass process. How many white film evaporators are needed for hemp extraction operation? Here's the white film distillation unit that we make, which is the clear still. And uh, this kind of gives you an idea. So it's kind of scalable, pretty nice, nicely scalable. This is for a single pass clear still. If you want double pass, you're probably going to have to double the some of those numbers. Mm. So just keep keep that in mind when you're talking about scaling. Um, why? Oh, yeah. A lot of people use short path in, uh, you know, in place of a white film evaporator. You know why they do that? No idea. It's it's kind of like the same thing with Rotovap mm. and 
um, you know, falling film. Okay. And it's just, it's, it's less expensive. It's, uh, you know, a lot of people can use it. Um, you just go buy some glassware. Okay. And, and test it out. So those are not really scalable. You can see here. So if you're going to try to do some tonnage, for example, with hemp, you're trying to do your tons. Oh my you, gosh. You don't, okay. Yeah. You need a lot of short path units and these are not very, um, reliable. Mm -hmm. You don't get the same product out every time. So in terms of, um, you know, from strain to strain, you're, you're not really consistent. You don't have, okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's really not very consistent. So, and the end customers who are buying this, that's the biggest complaint they have Yeah, is the consistency of delivery right. of product of everything. So. You really do need to have a really consistent product. Yes. You know, if you're going to make a brand or you're going to uh, produce uh, bulk oils for a customer they're going to want to have consistent oils coming out week after week, yep. month after month. And the way You're to not do that, able to do that with short path. It's yeah. just it's not Well, and the way to possible. do that is to have consistent processes, right? And right. you've been talking about this ad nauseum. Yeah. I mean, that's what you do. I mean, that's right. what we do here. And so that's why we can continually deliver over right. and over and over. Right, right. Good. Um, we did, um, you know, I have some more slides on, on basically the difference between short path and, distal and uh, white film. But I think suffice it to say that a lot of the same arguments that took place with Rotovap versus uh, versus falling film would apply. Gotcha. We have issues with, um, you know, we have issues with breakage. Yep, and 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 faster inconsistency associated with the, uh, you know, with the with the clear you, still. And then you have the integrated system. Yeah, you have the integrated just, system right there, which is which is goes. It just jives. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. So that's what I had. Um, let me see here. We should probably go through some of these other things here. One moment here. See if I got anything good. Yeah, definitely. Can wiped there. film <laughs> evaporation be used to separate? Oh, this is a question that people typically have. Okay. Um, you know, what they want to do, someone who's new to the system, new to new to the world of uh, distillation or new to the world of hemp and THC, they're always trying to figure out how to get the THC out of the CBD. Sure. And a lot of a very consistent and recurring question is, can I use my distillation equipment uh, to, to, to basically remove THC from CBD? Because the boiling points are different. Right. So you'd think, you know, since the boiling point uh, separation... It, you, know, you should you be think, able to do it. You should be able to do it. it it's not that simple. Mm. Um, and the answer is the boiling points are too close. You need to have, you know, 20, 30, maybe even 40 degrees difference really to make, uh, to do a good separation. Uh, actual boiling point inside the apparatus itself is unknown, such mm. as temperature, pressure. And also you have things that are also co-distilling with it coming off and that's okay. changing, uh, you know, for example, the apparent boiling points of the, of those two, um, components. So um, here I have, a, I need at least 20 degrees Celsius to do the separation. So th that's what that is. Let's see what else Great I Great question. Whoa. Look at that. This is what we needed. Oh man. This is, okay. This is a short path. Yeah. This is what they call, and this is a short path just to, okay. So I don't know if I had said this before, but this is typically in the, in the world of um, THC, cannabis, hemp, yeah. all that stuff. That's what they okay, use. They, they, they say that this is a short path unit. It's it's not technically a short path unit because this condenser here is external, gotcha. external. So this is a short path unit. This is our cold finger that we just talked about because yep. it is, um, you know, it's it's close to the evaporative surface and it's integrated into the system. So Got that's it. a short path. But but the whole entire industry says this is a short path. Got so it. guess what we say? Okay, that's we a short say, path. That's a short path. And we also say this is. A short path. Short path. Okay. Because this is, that's the reality of it. In reality, a more accurate term would be fractional distillation instead of short path distillation. Gotcha. So that's how that would work. And that looks like a normal still. Yeah. That's, that's essentially what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can make bourbon. You, you can make bourbon. You can make gin. Uh, Everclear. Yeah, Everclear. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we we you can have the corn mash. Yeah, we, we use that to <laughs> make some, some beers, of our some own moonshine um, tinctures the other day. Yeah, we get tinctures. Okay. That well, was a long afternoon. Here's, here's what it is you take the oil and you cook the living daylights out of it. Okay. You, yeah. you try to maintain the temperature here, but of course it's cooking. And um, there's a lot of people who have gotten very, very good at using these units. Sure. I, 
I don't want the haters to come out and say, yeah. you know, that, hey, look, you can't do it. Because, because it's an it, art. Because it's an art. Yes. It's an art. And so there are artisans who do it. Yes. And they do it very well and they do it every day. Yep. They can do it consistently, but you require an artisan to do it. That's right. Okay. That's why artisans like these. these but what techniques. happens to your operation if that artisan gets hit by a bus? Or, yeah, the artisan gets mad and decides to leave. Then you no longer have your artisan there. Okay. Yeah. So you need something that's more consistent yeah. and reliable. So, um, yeah. So in this case, here the stuff comes up. Yeah. You want to go fast too, obviously. But, oh, that's what happens wanna, when that artisan gets mad, kicks that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes all of your distillate. <laughs> so you're boiling this up. It's coming up here. Uh, it's um, condensing here. S eventually it gets hot enough and it comes out here and then it starts to condense. Now, what's interesting about this and the reason they call it fractional distillation is simply because as this heats up, you're gonna, the boiling points are going to come off sequentially, mm. right? So your acetones will come off, then your ethanols, then your then your THCs and your CBDs and then all your terpenes oh, and then terpenes and, you know, wow. they'll come off because okay. it's heating up sure. over time. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not the way it is here. So you're, what, it, since this is heating up over time, so maybe your acetone will come off first. It'll come down here and this will fill up and you'll have pure acetone, but all the other stuff. And then it heats up more. Oh, and then ethanol comes out and it comes up here. Oh, oh, then another solvent comes out and then it comes in here. Oh, then here comes your CBD. Okay. So it's coming out one after another. See what I'm saying? So that's yeah. why they call it fractional distillation. Got it. Okay. If you have an apparatus here where you can actually change the, the bulb mm -hmm. in, in what they, it almost looks like a cow udder is what they call it. Okay. And, and basically you would, you would just kind of swift switch it around. You're able to really actually fractionate. Save so separate out, those. separate out the acetone, separate out the, uh, oh. yeah, out the ethanol, separate out the CBD, separate out the terpenes. Okay. Gotcha. So a lot of people have saying, oh, well, that's really great because that's the theory of it. In practice, they kind of all smear out together. Yeah. And so it's really hard to keep it um, consistent. Gotcha. Okay. So and it's really hard process to control. So that's why people have opted for the short path distillation, which is the white film distillation. You can see here, there's that's we just kind of went over that already. Here you have the finger in here. You do not get a fraction with this you don't get any fractionation with this because this is held at one temperature. There's yeah. no ramping of, the, of the temperature. It's yeah, it is what it is. It's holding it. You're getting the same thing out boilers out every time. Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, not meant to ramp over time. So you can see it comes out here then it comes down here. Here's your residue. This stuff drips down here, goes into this distillate pump. So here you have the two. And then something that we didn't talk about was the terpenes that don't condense on there, the terpenes and stuff. They actually come over here. They condense on this a vacuum condenser. They come down here, and then there's a cold finger, and that's usually filled with dry ice or something that's really cold. And then you get you get more of a um, you get more of the stuff there. And then the vacuum is nice and clean, free from solvents. And so that's this is where your turbo pump is, and that's where gotcha. your that's where your um, your roughing pump is, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between a short path and a short path or a fractional <laughs> distillation and a short path. This one has an external condenser. This yeah. one has an internal condenser right there. So you can see that, that that's basically um, what makes it a short path. It's a short fixed distance between the evaporators. This evaporator is fascinating stuff. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So here we are. Um, let me see here. Oh. oh yeah. Short path apparatus can give more than two fractions. And here, well, so here you are can your see, fractions. I got fraction one, fraction two, fraction three. That's the advantage of this short path apparatus. Mm. It's, it's got an advantage, right? Cause you can really actually do the separation. It's just not very consistent. Gotcha. Okay. And you can see how I notice how I put them into big swaths. Like all this stuff together, together, all this stuff goes together. So it's not like you can do acetone and methanol and separate them out. It's not that good. Cause they're too close. They're too close. Yeah. Yep. Um, so here's like a comparison between short path and white film. Uh, here you can see the mean free path for short path um, is, is basically a long with this. This is now the, the fractional distillation. But I, that's why I have them in quotations there. So it's long. Uh, and then the, short, the mean free path for the white film is short. That has to do with here. Let's take a look here. See how it's short. It's really yep. short. It's like a one inch versus long. It has to go all the way up here. And then all the way up there, oh, external. Yeah. So it's a long, long distance away. Long That's path. a big, big difference. Okay. Mixing is a stir bar here. Typically, you would have a stir bar right there. 
you'd be stirring it up. This has got that motor wiper with the little blades on it that that keep it nice and thin. So now is that okay when you're talking about wiper blades? I mean, everybody's brain jumps to the wiper on your car. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's something that looks like that. Uh, only only it has um, little slits in it. Okay. Um, so that it uh, so that it lets stuff through and it. But know. is it more metal? Um, no, in, in, in the case of it's, it's a polymeric material that's, okay. that's up against the, uh, the wall, the, the, yeah. the column wall. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. And some manufacturers use carbon. Um, that's perfectly fine. It's a nice, uh, inert, uh, sure. you know, material. So some people do that. All right. Okay. And then, um, residence time for distillation, we have, uh, five to 60 minutes. Uh, so, and you can also see the white film is much more efficient because it, you know, you got a very short time because that's the. The fact that you have a very thin film sure. that you're creating okay and as opposed to the short path which you're just boiling a bulk oil right yeah or 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 um yeah sometimes you're there's different ways to to improve this but it, it's typically a lot longer than it is in white film wow change over time you know that's the thing you have to take all this thing apart you have to clean it out here i have a question cool. so how do you clean out that what if it get cake stuff caked down in there how do you clean that out you know, you have to have like a little tiny. Well, brush based on the to way my there. family does that after dinner, they just throw it in the in the dishwasher. <laughs> well, in this case, the dishwasher. You got to scrape work. off the food. You got to wash your dishes before you put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> in this case, you have to put it in what they call like a a piranha solution, which oh. will actually dissolve <laughs> and eat up all. Yeah, eat up all of the uh, all of the the crusties that are now, in there. That would be a cool sound effect. Yeah, that, that would be. <laughs> and, it, you know, if someone didn't do the dishes when you asked them to, you just put their finger in the piranha solution. <laughs> oh, that would be bad. Oh, oh that's, that's not good. Wow. I, I, <laughs> that's, that's a little harsh. That is. That is. That's a little harsh. That's, that's a little okay. harsh. Okay. So uh, change over time, 20 minutes mm -hmm. uh, versus continuous. You don't need to have a change over time with, you know, to refill it. Um, so that's, that's a big advantage of the white film. And then also film thickness, uh, you know, no film film is made. And, uh, so, and then you got different, different, uh, levels. So I think that's, you know, that kind of gives you people an idea of the different technologies that you can use. Yeah. Um, it kind of gives you an idea how it's used, where you would use it. Um, you know, um, you know, why would you would use one technique over another, um, one thing to mention is we do have calculators. So if you want to, um, go onto the website, you can, you can just pick out any calculator, just say, okay, Hey, how much distillate, uh, will I be getting from this amount of crude or this amount of hemp? Mm -hmm. And we got a calculator in there that'll estimate that for you. Awesome. So, you know, it's a, it's a, a really good way to just to you know, try to understand, okay, what the yields are at each process. Gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. And and the calculators are awesome and it goes through all of those processes. So when you're right. doing um uh the and you know the our biggest hit one is the ethanol versus CO2 compa mm -hmm. operational comparison right. that hits all the time. But you've done a great job building these calculators. So yeah. So yeah, I mean this is enough information for you guys to give you the just the basics to understand when you'd use it. Uh, what what it can't do, you know, yeah. can't it can't really separate out sure. CTHC from CBD. Well, so, this was yeah. this was an awesome presentation. Thank you for doing this. You, okay. All well right. done. All right. Distillation yeah. rocks. And um, what what we we talked a little bit about things. So next week, are we doing the popcorn thing? Are we doing? <laughs> uh, probably not next week uh, because I ha I have to set that up, and and we have to get. <laughs> We have to obtain clarified, you know. That's a lot. We of have butter to clarify. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're gonna have to. Oh I don't know gosh. how we're gonna do that. We we probably need to go down to the store by. We have to calculate it because the yield on the the that buttercream <laughs> is is really low. It's probably at least. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so here's how I want to make popcorn. Let's be like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kettle corn, like 100 kilos of kettle corn all in like Gosh, 30 seconds. Our gym is going to explode. We would have to have, uh, we're probably going to have to rig it up uh, with a cyclone so it'll suck it out of there. <laughs> That's going to be so fun. Yeah. I can't wait. All right. And, you know, and then we were talking about bananas foster earlier. Yeah. I we think were. that there's some process Gosh, you I'm can hungry. do with that. Oh. That's probably the issue. Oh my gosh. I got banana foster.
Food. Flambe. Yes. I gotta go get We lunch. must be food. Okay. Um, no, this is excellent show. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Thank you for your questions. Don't forget, Calculators Resources Live Tour. Um, our YouTube channel has all of these uh, on it, all our podcasts. Go to our podcast, like it, subscribe to our podcast. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube. There's a lot of resources out there. And when you go onto our website, there's a lot of resources for you. You know, whether you're buying our gear or not, there's a lot of people who are buying drain droids for their ethanol facilities. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are using our clear still and our fractrons right. in their ethanol facilities. Right, right. There's a lot of people who are putting in orders for our Pure 99. Yes. Chromatography, oh, yeah. baby. That's, that's sweet. good. So that's going to be chromatography in a box. And it's a big box and it's a cool box. Yeah. It's very awesome. So thank you for being here. Uh, invite your friends. There will be a replay. Uh, so, and uh, don't forget to join us next week. Thanks again, Rob Marquardt, Elite Extraction. Shout out. You're going to get, I think, a Drain Droid hoodie. Yeah. Drain Droid Definitely. hoodie on its way. Um, and I think Eli Droid hoodie on its way. Um, and I think Eli's going to run that out to you in, in Utah. So that's good. Uh, there is a giveaway. There are more giveaways. Use our uh, calculators. Use our chat bot. I think next week uh, giveaways might even come from the chat bot. Ooh, that'd be sweet. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, we're going to do that. I think that would be fun. Why not? Chat bot will be doing it. We got to call our chat bot something different than chat bot. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to <laughs> brainstorm but, that. And, and, and any suggestions you might have on what we can call our bot? Because the bot is pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like our bot. And he introduces us, and we have a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of come, and we can go convert that right to a quick CBD we jam use session. That, we can't use that name, Ashley. We can't use that name. Which name? The name. We can't use that name. No. No. All right. We won't use it anymore. No. Sorry. Just can't do it. I'm. I won't. Okay. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> All right. So thank you again. Uh, go for the resources. Keep the questions coming in. Uh, there will be a replay. Well done. Good show. All I right. loved the distillation. So we're good to go. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week. Bye now. Bye. Are you stuck in your hemp or cannabis business? Are you not reaching your processing goals? Here at Extract Lab, we offer a free 20-minute CBD jam session. A CBD jam session is a conversation with an industry expert, not a sales call. A conversation where you can talk to us about whatever issues you are having right now and where you are stuck. We will help you uncover any issues you are currently having in your business, create a solution to fit your current scale, develop a future scale-up plan based on your needs, and help you make your processing goals a reality all while getting your business plan back on track. Schedule your free 20-minute CBD Jam session at 1-651-600-0036. Again, that number is 1-651-600-0036.